Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how we can implement system and browser events in Lightning or a component. So let's understand how we can implement system event and browser event. So first I'm going to demonstrate system event implementation. So I'm going to create new Lightning component I'm naming it as ACC data and I'm enabling this checkbox because uh, in future, I want to uh, place this lightning component on the record page. So lightning component is created and it is having these two interfaces implemented automatically. So here we have available for record home and uh, foods has record ID, right? So, I'm just saving this. Now I just need to link this lightning component with the Apex controller. So I'm going to create that as well. So I'm creating Apex class as ACC controller. Now in this ACC controller, I'm going to implement the code. So uh, with the help of at the rate aura annotation. So I'm going to use this code. So here you can see at the rate aura enabled annotation is available. And uh, uh, this get accounts method uh, will return these uh, queried account records. So five account records will be queried along with ID, name, and phone. So I'm just removing phone from here because I will be using ID and name only. And uh, those records will be available in this ACC list and it is being returned. So I'm just saving this file. Now jumping to my component, right? In this component, I'm going to use uh, my system event. So first of all, I'm going to create one attribute, naming it as ACC list, right? Now after this, I'm going to implement a handler, right? So its name is init. So init is basically a system event. So you just need to handle it. It is uh, fired automatically whenever your component loads in the browser. So we just need to handle and we need to define like what operation we want to perform when this event is fired. So value equals to this and action equals to. So now you need to understand. So name is in it. So it will be uh, handled automatically. Value equals to this. So it says like uh, the handler is available in this component only. And uh, with this, uh, with the help of this method, your uh, operation will be executed. And uh, do in it. So this is a name. You can use any name for uh, defining the function. And uh, this C dot you need to use because this method will be defined in the controller part. So this way we can handle a uh, uh, system event. Now, I'm using a tag lightning select, providing it name as uh, select one and its label will be select an account. Right inside this uh, lightning select, I'm going to provide option. So option value equals to null and uh, none will be displayed. So when we create a pick list or drop down uh, using this lightning select tag, so this none will be displayed on the UI. And if you select this none, so this value will be processed in the backend. Now, after this, I just need to use aura iteration so that I can iterate over this ACC list where account list will be available. So aura iteration, then items equals to V dot ACC list. Then we need to use a variable where one by one accounts will be available uh, from this list to this item variable. And here I'm going to use option value equals to item.id. 
So we actually queried ID and name. So if you uh, focus on this SQL, we, we queried ID and name. So those ID and name we are going to use here. So I'm just closing it. And here I'm going to use item dot name. So what will happen? Name will be displayed on the UI. And if you select a particular account name, so for processing purpose, uh, that ID will be used through this value attribute. So this way, the UI part is implemented. Now we need to go to the controller and we need to define the do init method. So here uh, you can see we are just uh, uh, mapping this init handler with this do init method. So in the controller, you will be defining your uh, do init method so that whatever operation you want to perform, you can write. So I'm just creating a variable named as action. So component dot get then C dot get accounts. So this is basically the function that is available here, right? And one more thing we need to do, we need to use this here. So I am writing controller equals to, so whenever you want to link your Apex class uh, with your lightning component, so you need to use this statement as well, right? So we just call the method that is defined in the Apex controller. Now, action dot that callback this then function response and here uh, you need to apply this curly brace then variable state equals to response dot get state if state triple equals to Access, then you can write component dot set v dot acc list and then response dot get return value. So it is closed here, then you can use dollar a dot. Okay. NQ action and here you can pass the action, right? So this way I defined this method. So this method is basically uh, linked with this aura handler. So this way I hope you understood like how uh, we 